All right. Uh, my name is Natalie Stokes Peters, okay, and I'm the current publisher at Black Classic Press. Um, and what I'll do today, what Donnie asked me to do, was talk a little bit about Black Classic Press because it is a Baltimore, um, it's a Baltimore tradition. It's a, it's, it's, it's part of Baltimore history. And so he asked me to just talk about that, but then I can also answer questions uh, that you may have about the inside of the publishing industry. We're not a, a big New York major house with traditional publishing and, you know, staff, however many or how few those may be, but we are um, a niche, independent, black-owned publisher. We are the second oldest independent black-owned publisher in the U.S. Um, Hakeem Matabuti, who owns Third World Press, is the oldest press, and they're about 10 years older than us. The third oldest is owned by Casa Chacol in New Jersey. Okay, so that's... Um, sort of the history <laughs> of black publish, independent black publishing in terms of who's old. There are many, 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 many newer independent black publishers um, in the space now, which is great. So those of you who have published your own books, you are on the way or could be on your way to being a publishing house as well. Okay? It's just a matter of you going from publishing your own books to, to, to coaching and bringing someone into the possibilities, possible space of them publishing their books with you. So once you've learned it and you've got all the tricks, then it becomes a space of how do you do it and how do you help someone else do it, okay? Um, a little bit about myself that I will mention. Um, now, I'm not a writer by degree. I'm not an English major. <laughs> I'm an engineer, okay? Um, two engineering degrees. So I'm about as far from writing as you get <laughs> in college. I did not even have to take an English class. I tested out of it and so I never had to take an English class. So that, But I am a reader. have always been a reader. If you self-publish or plan on self-publishing, you need to be a reader. You need to be able to read the types of books that you want to write because that's where you get to distinguish the good books from the ones where like, oh, okay, I know what not to do. So if you're going to be in the publishing business, you need to be in the reading business, okay? Um, I will also say that along the way, I've always owned um, businesses in addition to whatever my real job was, okay? When I worked, I worked full-time with a Fortune 500 company and also owned an art framing business at the same time. Um, uh, when I retired from that company in 2002, I started my own publishing company. I started an internship with Black Class Press. Um, and the, look, I'm looking at my neighbor, right? Because we've lived together almost 20 years in the same place. I'm thinking, okay, what has she seen me hauling in and out of my house um, over the years? And then I also, um, I also uh, am part of a coaching team for self-publishing.